In this video, traders are going to look at what is price action trading. Stay tuned. Hey, traders, are very warm. Welcome to. So, talk about price action a lot. What exactly is it? How does it differ from other types of trades? What are the benefits? What do we look for? What's the overall theme around it? So, price action is defined in different ways. If you look on the internet, you kind of see some different definitions, but ultimately it's trading the money flow or the market movements from price movement alone. I know it seems like a little bit of a contradiction there, but what we're fundamentally doing is we're just looking at price, how price is responding to different events how it's responding to external catalysts, how it's responding to key levels of support and resistance, how it responds to buyers, how it responds to sellers. It's the price response to something that makes the price action trading strategy so powerful. How does the price respond to the open, to the gap, to the open, to the high, to the close? How does the price respond in the last five minutes? All this kind of stuff is the data we take. It's price action and price response to specific areas or events that matter so much. So how do we do it? So theoretically speaking, or kind of, uh, I guess, textbook, is we're not using any indicators for price action. For me, it might be a little bit too strict. I think that you can have some indicators and still understand price action. What that really means is you're not making choices and decisions and trading triggers from just indicators. You are understanding the indicator is derived from price and you're using it as a tool and a guide. So I don't think you can strictly have to say I've got no indicators on there, but what you're saying is we're not just taking crossovers or this or that or the other. So what exactly are we looking at? So before we get to this, which is the kind of golden section, if you like, we're looking at candlestick patterns, chart patterns, and the combination of those. So how price is performing based on where we are. In other words, a candlestick pattern, we will have something like a bullish engulfing. A bullish engulfing, for those of you who don't know, is where the candlestick basically engulfs the whole of the prior candle. So what is that? That is price action because it's seeing how price is responding to the prior candle specifically in that. And also we like to see it at lows, we like to see it as support, all this kind of stuff. So how is price responding to support? How is it responding to lows? How is it responding to the prior bearish candle? Oh, it's very, very aggressive because it's taken out the low and the high of that candle at support. Price action is telling us this is potentially very, very strong. It's not an indicator, it's not a tool, it's not an alert, it's just how price Prices behaved, and we see that visually in the form of a candlestick. If we didn't, and we were watching it in the old school, like the Jesse Livermore days, we'd see it on the ticker tape. It, the, the bar would close at 50, we'd see it trading the next bar at 49, 48, all of a sudden we'd see it 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 56, 60, whatever it may be, and you think, okay, now I can see price action has indicated a bullish trend. So you get the idea, it's how price behaves. So the big kind of four, if you like, for looking at price action and understanding price behavior is number one, the direction. Are we going up? Are we going down? Are we sitting in a sideways market? That's the first thing we're kind of taking into account. Very simple, but often overlooked, if I'm honest. People are like all doing all this analysis and stuff. It's like, listen, market's going up. It's been up for days and it's going up today. You know, you know, there's no more assessment needs to be made. Just need to find an entry for long or stay out of the thing. You know, sometimes it's the simplest things that can keep us out of trouble and make us the money. So up, down, sideways, what's going on? Uh, the speed. So is it slow? Is it fast? In other words, if we're looking at kind of one candle, that example of the bullish engulfing, that would be fast because we've taken out kind of one bit, one candle of range and perhaps we take out three or four candles with one big candle we tick that as fast. And if we kind of had multiple days like that on multiple candles, we'd look at the angle of the trend, the angle of the move, whether it's an aggressive uh, kind of really burst of power or is it kind of a shallow lift off the lows? This is price action, this is giving us clues. How aggressive are the buyers? How passive are they? Are they that bothered about it? You know, so direction is up, but if direction's up and it's just slightly creeping, that's a lot of difference to the direction's up and it's absolutely hammering to the upside, right? This is price action This in its, in its purest form. So fast and the angle. Number three, volume. So whilst this is not strictly price action, and bear with me on this one, volume to me 
doesn't necessarily mean contracts traded. It means the speed that the, the, the uh, contracts are being traded, the trade speed and the quantity. So not only the quantity on the volume bar that you'd have on your bottom, and yes, probably strictly not price action as such, but I think the relationship's so strong, it can't ignore it. We've got good, strong volume. We've got a good, fast pace, an aggressive angle to the upside. That's a lot different to if we've just got, you know, a move to the upside, but there's no volume. There's nothing coming into it. It's a very, very slow pace of trade. It's kind of pointing to the upside, but it's just ticking up slowly in chunks as opposed to like lots and lots of trade and really aggressively moving. That's a lot of difference. So not only volume as in quantity, but also in speed of trade flow. And the number four, position. So, so important, which is why I think this is this um, is it? Oh, I'm sort of debating in my head here if this is the most important. It's got to be one of, the, one of the most important things, guys, position. In other words, where is price relative to your hour, your day, your week, your month, your year, your open, your high, your low, your close, the prior days, pivot, whatever. That is the, such the most important thing. Because if you get, let's say, a candlestick pattern that you like to see, and it's in the middle of a range, or it's in the middle of nowhere, it's got nowhere near the power as if you see a bullish candlestick pattern coming down to a price position, maybe that's a key support level, it's a low from yesterday, it's something interesting, you break through, then you see your bullish price action candlestick or chart pattern from that, how much more power has that got? You've already got a premise that maybe this support will hold, and then you see some kind of trigger that would suggest suggest that some sort of price action movement, you start to run through your checklist, you go direction, okay, we were down, we're now up, we're now moving fast, the angle is quite aggressive, the volume is powerful, okay, and then we look onto trade criteria, like where's the risk and what have you, but you know, that's a separate topic altogether. So price action trading is purely looking at how price is moving relative to different inputs, different variables, different price positions, different key levels, different external catalysts. One thing I hadn't mentioned is an external catalyst, like good news comes out, the price goes down, it's telling you something. It's just price action, but it's relative to the news that's come out. Everyone's expecting good news, the price goes lower, what can we deduce? That thing's weak. Okay, that's it guys. Price action, well worth investigating. This is my favorite form of trading. I think it's the purest form. And I think that if you can grasp it and understand it and really get to grips with it, you can build from it. Even if you decide to further, uh, if you decide further on, should I say, uh, to choose to trade with some other method, at least you understand the fundamentals and you get more of a feel of how supply demand works, how price responds to different levels, and really get a feel for price action as a kind of raw, useful skill in your trading. All right, guys, give it a thumbs up if you like this. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.